We handle environmental predictions from space all the way to the ocean floor. In the past decade, the Navy's realigned the METOC community into the information warfare community because we've realized that all of those fields play very closely together. The opportunity to interact with enlisted sailors on a daily basis is the most important part of my job. AGs, aerographers, mates, um, they're the enlisted forecasters. Um, they actually do the lion's share of the day-to-day -day weather predictions. We do provide briefs to all pilots before they take off. We also receive reports from the pilots while they're in the air so that we can verify our forecasts. And then we also provide specialized forecasts for the mission itself. We do real-time observations in the outdoors. We rely heavily on computer models. My tour immediately preceding this was at Naval Postgraduate School, uh, where I got a master's degree in meteorology and oceanography. Weather and oceanography prediction, it's the same science. They're both predictions of fluids. The ocean just moves slower. We predict currents, tides, storm surge in relation to tropical cyclones. But all of that can have an effect on amphibious operations, unmanned undersea vehicles. Even in bad weather, if we can understand the impacts of that bad weather better than our adversaries can, then we can exploit those bad conditions. We chart the ocean floor, and those kind of underwater canyons and stuff are crucial for submarines to be able to navigate safely. The job of atmospheric prediction is almost as much of an art as it is a science. I'm really able to dig deep down into those models and see the story that they're trying to convey.